So terrorism in sub-Saharan Africa has increased by over 15 times since 2000. And what uh, the international community is looking at is how to counter uh, this rise in terrorism. And they're doing that in part by looking at how to stop the financing of groups. So uh, with this research, we've looked at how do you uh, assess the impact of this anti-money laundering and countering terrorism financing legislation. How does it impact people's day-to-day -day lives in Africa? The first finding is that the legislation hasn't been effectively implemented. This is because uh, there's a lack of political will in some cases with the same avenues uh, used for uh, money laundering. They're also the same as those used for the leakages of government spend expenditure and financing. Uh, but then also there's, there's quite a high level of vulnerability with many, many African countries being largely Af uh, cash based, uh, then also uh, having large informal economies. The second uh, main finding uh, is that even if the legislation was effectively implemented, it won't necessarily address the real uh, financing of terrorism uh, issues because a lot of groups in Africa are actually self-financed, uh, relying on uh, resources around them rather than external donations. And then the third finding was looking at the actual impact on people and civilians' lives of this legislation. And what we've seen is there's actually a reduction in financial services available as a lot of uh, financial service providers are reluctant to uh, be seen to be uh, in cahoots or uh, supporting uh, the financing of terrorism. And so they've de-risked or removed themselves from offering certain services. This is important because we need to understand how groups are being financed in order to target uh, legislation better and in order to have a, a more uh, or a less intrusive uh, impact on people's lives. And so there are a couple of uh, implications for this. So uh, we need to, uh, obviously there's a security concern, you need to remove territorial control because that's one of the ways in which groups are able to access uh, resources and uh, funding opportunities, uh, but then also you need to uh, look at avenues for uh, including private uh, companies, including financial institutions, including banks, and encouraging them uh, to return to these markets uh, whilst recognising uh, that there, there is always going to be uh, some risk associated with uh, being involved in uh, markets that have terrorist actors.